Hello again, my name is Veronica from Punkfish Diving and Punkfish Academy. And today we go into the last bit of our nitrox calculations. So we will do the most complicated and probably the one you will less use in your daily life. We want to have a look on what is meant with the EAD, the equivalent air depth. We want to know at which depth would air have the same nitrogen partial pressure than the nitrox mix we are breathing at the depth where we are or where we plan to go. This is the equivalent air depth. Today, this is not really important anymore, but it comes from the time when we were still planning our dice with tables and we did not have tables for every single nitrox mix. So what we did is to find the equivalent air depth and then calculate our no decompression limit with the equivalent air depth and not with our real maximum depth. So how do we calculate this? It looks a little bit complicated because we need two different gases and two different depths. So we basically need our diamond twice. We want to compare two different pressure, so two different depth, the depth where we actually dive with the equivalent air depth of this nitrox mix with air. And the point that both have in common is the nitrogen pressure, because this is what we want to compare. So our gas pressure is the same for both. The fraction of the gas, the mix is different. It's a nitrox mix and air. And the pressure for sure is different because this is what we are looking for. It looks a little bit complicated, but we will now go through this step by step by step and you will see that all in all it's not complicated. We compare two nitrogen pressures of two different gases and compare two depth at the end of all this. First step is very easy. The first thing we need to do is to find out how much nitrogen we have in our gas. Now we take as an example a nitrox 28 and in a nitrox 28, 28% are oxygen means 70% are nitrogen, very obviously. Okay, so we have this fraction of our first gas, the nitrogen fraction of 0.72 and we have a second gas. The second gas is air. The nitrogen in air is 79%. So the fraction would be 0.79. So for our example, we now want to find the equivalent air depth for our nitrox 28 for 40 meters. That means 40 meters is our first pressure, pressure 1, and this pressure is 5 bar. At 40 meters we have 5 bar. I think you remember by now why it is like this. Now to find the pressure of nitrogen with this nitrox at 40 meters, we just have to multiply the depth, 5 bar, with 0 0.72, which is a fraction of nitrogen, and we get to 3.6 bar. A little bit of math and you did this before, you remember? Now this 3.6 bar partial pressure of nitrogen is what we want to compare. Because what we want to know is at which depth do we reach a nitrogen pressure of 3.6 bar when we dive with air? This is our equivalent air depth. This is what we are looking for. So, easy like that. We now have to divide the 3.6 bar that we want to compare with a fraction of nitrogen in air, which is the 0 0.79.
Easy like that, right? Now this leads us to the result of 4.55 bar as the second pressure, as the pressure we compare. 4.5 bar is 35 meters. You remember this, it was minus one bar for the atmosphere, times 10 for 10 meter is one bar. So we have an equivalent air depth of 35 meters. Means when we breathe a nitrox 28, at 40 meters, we saturate with nitrogen in the same way as we would saturate when we breathe air at 35 meters. That's the equivalent air depth. And because this is really a little bit nasty to calculate and it takes some concentration and a bit of time and it's very easy to mix it up, this is one of the points where I suggest to just use the equivalent air depth tables when you are interested in knowing this or in checking this. You find them as well in the download area in SSI. So no worries about these calculations. So if now you ask yourself if you really have to know all this, um, well, no. Like, honestly, you don't need this. You will very likely live a beautiful diving life and do hundreds and thousands of dives with nitrox and you will never calculate an equivalent air depth because you just don't need it anymore. Don't worry if uh, this looks a little bit complicated for you. Forget it. It's enough to know that this concept exists and that in case for you want to know this in any moment, you can just look it up. The important thing is you set your computer to the mix you actually breathe, you activate the alarms for 1.4 bar partial pressure of oxygen, and this way you dive safely and you will be fine. So just dive, relax, enjoy, and if you don't still don't have your nitrox certification, get it now.